Hey, what's up? In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of e to the 7t times the sine squared of t. So we have an e times something we can compute the Laplace transform of. So basically, we'll rewrite this using identities and then use the shifting theorem. So we have the Laplace of e to the 7t. And then sine squared is 1 minus cosine 2t all divided by 2. We can break this up. This is equal to the Laplace. And I'll show an extra step. This is e to the 7t. It's 1 over 2, so 1 half, minus, and then cosine 2t all over 2. Then we can distribute the e to the 7t and factor out the 1 half. So this is equal to 1 half Laplace e to the 7t minus 1 half Laplace. Then here we have an e to the 7t, oop, it's an e, <laughs> cosine of 2t. Okay. So for the first uh, Laplace transform, we can just use the formula. Recall the formula for the Laplace transform of e to the at is simply 1 over s minus a. So in this case, it's 1 half times 1 over s minus 7 minus 1 half. And then here we can use the first translation theorem. So we can drop the e. And whenever you drop uh, an e, what you can do is you can replace it with a shift. So we dropped e to the 70. So the shift takes s to s minus 7. So like if it was e to the 4t, it'd be s minus 4. If it was e to the negative 7t, it'd be s plus 7, right? So something to keep uh, in mind. And this is equal to 1 half times 1 over s minus 7 minus 1 half. And then uh, cosine has the s. So it's s over s squared plus 2 squared, so 4. And the shift is from s to s minus 7. So let me just briefly recall the formula for you. So if you have the Laplace of cosine kt, cosine has the s. If it was, cosine, if it was sine, you would have a k. So cosine has the s, and it's s squared plus k squared. Um, and then we're almost done. The last thing to do is replace all of the s's with uh, s minus 7s in the second piece here. So this is 1 over 2 times 1 over s minus 7 minus 1 over 2. Then we have s minus 7 over and then s minus 7 squared plus 4. And that would be the Laplace transform of e to the 7t times sine squared of t. So again, when you see something like this, this should immediately ring a bell, you know, identity. And then use the identity, and then you can handle the e. If there's an e here, um, you can always do a shift after you use your identities. So that's it.